Since the outbreak of coronavirus, public anxiety has been prevalent. People across the world are worried and their concerns are fueled by the fact that the virus can cause serious harm and there are no medications. That's not to mention the cancellation of schools, popular events and the general disruption that has occurred due to the outbreak of coronavirus. To give more insights on how to manage fear posed by the outbreak of coronavirus, Larry Lushola, a psychologist and behavioral change coach, joins us live via phone. Thank you for joining us, Larry. Hi, how are you today? Fine, thank you very much. And how are you? I'm very well, thank you. We're all keeping safe. Good to know. And I hope everyone is. Now, the outbreak of coronavirus has changed virtually every human activity, and this has brought about public anxiety in recent times. How can one cope with the panics, stress, fears associated with this pandemic? All right. Um, thank you very much. Um, let me just quickly share some statistics so that we have some context. Um, malaria, uh, based on the 2018 statistics, killed 405,000 people. And there were 228 million cases of malaria worldwide. So note, 405,000 dead. Suicide kills 800,000 people every year. That is, every 40 seconds, someone dies from suicide. Now, the world's population is 7.4 billion. The death per annum is 57 million. So 57 million people die every year, you know, and there is about 141 million births every year. That's a 2015 study. So let's bring it back to COVID-19. So there's been 542,000 385 cases, uh, 125,490 people have recovered. There's been 24,368 deaths. Let's work out that, pop that population. It's, it's minute compared to number of deaths every year. Yes, we know that this is a pandemic and we're not taking it for granted. But people cannot be consumed by what media is pushing out because it seems like it is killing everybody and people are just dropping dead left, right, center, forward. Now, if we all do what we're supposed to do and we're, we're all washing our hands, we're, you know, uh, socially distancing ourselves, uh, we're wearing our masks, we're staying at home, uh, we're keeping healthy, and we make sure that we balance our emotions. We will beat COVID-19. In, in balancing our emotions, you rightly said, Larry, can you offer some tips or therapies to adopt at this time just to manage the negative effect of the outbreak of coronavirus? Oh. All right, fantastic. Well, one of the things that we need to quickly do is make sure that we don't listen to too much negative news because faith comes by hearing. You know, that which you listen to, that which you focus on, consumes you. And so first thing is make sure that you are not listening to the, the, the negativity. You are not bombarded by the negativity. And so this is a time to listen to inspirational music it's a time to listen to inspirational talks. It's a time to feed your spirit and your soul with positivity. That's the very first thing you need to do. Focus, change your focus. The second thing you need to do is to ensure that you build your immunity. You build your immunity with your emotions. You have to stay calm. You have to meditate. You have to ensure that you eat healthy. You have to eat foods that are rich in tyrosine. That is avocados, bananas, fish. You have to take your food supplement. Make sure you take vitamin C. Ensure 
that you don't put yourself in arm's way. It is very, very important that your perception, your thoughts, your beliefs, and your focus are on positive things at this time. Because as a man thinks, so is he. Right. Now, it's also important that you ensure that the four positive hormones are richly in your system. So you need a healthy dose of dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. Now, how do you get that? Exercise, practice meditation, listen to good soul music. It's also important that you care for other people. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, go ahead, Larry. It's also important that because we cannot socially interact, you join different social groups, positive social groups on your phone, and you are exchanging positive messages and keeping social online. It is very, very key. You know, stay motivated and stay relaxed. Now, find something creative to do and increase your creativity. Also, ensure that you increase your level of empathy, your warmth, and openness. Right. So, make sure that you regulate your anxiety. It is very, very important. Regulate your moods, your emotions. It is very important that you also reduce your sugar intake at this time. Right. Drink less fizzy drinks. Ensure that you reduce the amount of sugar that you take in. It is very, very important. All right. Now, it's time to watch comedy. So go and download all the co comedy that Nigerian comedians have put out and be watching those comedies because at this time you need to laugh, 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 laugh. Just all keep right, laughing. Right. Yes. Yeah, so okay. that will be the tips. Those, those will be the tips that I'll share. All right. Psychologist and behavioral change coach, Larry Olishola, thank you very much for joining us and for your insightful tips there. Thank you very much for having me.